are back from school so early. Why? What is the problem? Mama, they told me to go home because of school fees. Oh my god. <sighs> it's okay. You will just help me go to the market to sell a charge card. Okay, Mama. Oh yeah, go and freshen up. Okay, Mama. God, when will all this suffering come to an end? Why is this life so unfair? <sighs> Mom, I need to go to school today. You know I have mock exams today. I studied so hard for it. I just can't miss it. No, Dave. You need to stay at home to rest. You have kidney disease, which is very dangerous. Remember what the doctor told you. I know, Mom. But you know I have exams today. I can't miss it. I didn't choose to have kidney disease. Dave, listen to your mother. Go to your room and rest. The doctor will be here later in the day to run some minor tests and check up on you. Why can't I just be a normal teenager for once? <laughs> Do I have to stay inside my room every single day because of my health? <laughs> I didn't choose to be this way. Dave! Dave! Just let him be. He'll be fine. Buy your research card here. Yeah. Buy your research card. Mama, this is very low. I've been shouting since morning, yet nothing. Nobody have come here to buy research card. I'm tired. I haven't eaten since morning. It's okay. Just keep selling. We'll soon go home. But Mama, you ate all the rice that was meant for me and you. You are always greedy. You know I've been shouting here since morning. If I slap that your mouth, eh? So me, I should be hungry now. Come on, continue what you are doing if you know you want to go back to school. Buy your research card. I have undergone new checkup on him. His condition is stable for now, but he shouldn't eat sugary products and he should avoid strenuous activities. Okay, doctor. Thank you very much. Dave! Mom, please leave. I want to be left alone. Come on, Dave. Can't I talk to you? How are you feeling? I'm not fine, Mom. How do you expect me to be fine? My life is a mess. I can't do anything. I can't go to school. I can't even play sports. Hmm. Dave, you need to understand everything we are doing is for your own good. Your father and I are not happy too, but what can we do? We only want the best for you. Woman, where is my money for house land? Where is my money? Please, Olga landlord, please bear with me. I promise I'm going to pay the house rent. I am tired of yelling this. You have been saying the same thing for over a month now. Landlord, please. You know I'm just a poor widow with a daughter. Things are hard. Please give me some time. I promise I will pay. Keep your touching life totally to yourself. I give you two weeks. Two weeks to pay my house rent. Or else, be led to vacate this house. Nonsense. Hey, what do I do now? I only be fast. You have to go and hug pure water. Ah, uh, my mouth to be good afternoon, oh. And what is good about this afternoon, eh? Where is my money? Eh, uh, uh, very soon, soon. Mama Awili, I'll be patient enough. You come to my shop few days ago to collect clothes and jewelry for yourself on credit. You said you will come and pay on Thursday. I did not see you. I have come to collect my money now. Mama Toby, you know things are hard now. Please. Things are hard. You did not know things are hard when you were packing clothes and jewelry at my shop. Pay me my money. Um. Ma, please just give my mother a little time. I promise we'll pay. I will. It is because of you. I will be coming back next week to collect the money. You better be ready. If not, I will involve the police. 
Mama, why? Why will you be collecting clothes and jewelry for yourself on credit when you know very well we have more important expenses? If I slap you, come on, will you carry the pure water inside and go and sell? Nonsense. I can't just sit in my room all day doing nothing. I need to do something. I have a very important football match to play. I will just sneak out of their house. Let me call Frank. Hello? Frank? Yes, yes. Don't worry. When is the football match starting? Okay, 12 o'clock. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Dave! Dave! Oh my god! Where did he go? Dave! Honey, what is the problem? Why are you shouting? Where is Dave? Honey, I can't find Dave. I can't find him. I searched everywhere for him, but I didn't see him. What? I need to call the police so they will search for him. I've already done that. I hope nothing bad happens to him. The doctor said he should always be indoors. Hello? Yes, I'm Mrs. Thompson. Oh my god! What? Which hospital? Okay, I'll be there. Honey, what is it? Have they found him? <laughs> Dave was rushed to the hospital. He was playing ball with his friends. Then the ball hit his chest and he collapsed. Let's go to the hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go immediately. Your son is in a very critical condition. I told you not to let him go out of the house. His two kidneys are completely bad. So we need to carry out a kidney transplant as soon as possible. We'll be needing a donor. Oh no. <laughs> God, why? Doctor, I can't donate my kidney. No, we've carried out certain tests on you and your husband before. Your kidneys are not healthy. We need a good match as soon as possible. If not, your son is going to die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honey, what do we do now? Dave can't die. He can't die. He's our only child. Our only happiness. Hmm. What type of life is this? No money. I can't pay Amuli's school fees. The landlord is on my neck for his house rent. If I don't pay, I will be homeless. I haven't even paid Mama to be a money. Different credits up and down. Where, where do I start from? What do I do now? I can't just sit down and do nothing. I need to go out there and make money. Honey, <laughs> it's been days now since we've been looking for a kidney donor. Yet nothing. I don't want Dave to die. We have to do something before it's too late. I don't want to lose him. <laughs> it's okay, my wife. I'm going to post it on social media that a kidney donor is needed urgently and a huge prize will be given to anyone that agrees to donate his or her kidney. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Remember you're the girl for me. It is Mama Aweli, have you heard the latest news? What latest news? You know the popular Rich Thompson family. Who doesn't know them? What about them? Their only child is seriously sick and is on the verge of death because he has some sort of kidney failure. They need a kidney donor and they are offering the sum of 10 million for the kidney donor. Oh my god! Are you serious? 10 million naira. My dear, send me the location. <laughs> Mama Avili, so you want to go and donate kidney? You that your kidney is already weak and brutally. You are the one that even need a kidney donor.
What type of play is this one? Don't insult me, oh. Calm down. They said they need a young kidney donor, not someone old like you. I don't blame you at all. Oh yeah, come and be going. My everything, I can't even say I mean. Ten million naira or more. This is my ticket to riches. But when we donate to the kidney, and only yes, I will use Anwili's kidney. In fact, let them take her two kidney. I don't care. I just need to be rich. I'm tired of this poverty life. She's just a burden to me, Seth. She's useless. <laughs> Money. <laughs> but how will I only follow me? I will just prank her that we should go and pay her school fees. Yes, yes. I know I'm still dreaming about Mama, I'm so excited. So you're going to pay my school fees today. I'll be going back to school. Yes, dear. We have to go now. I will be late. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Mama. Okay, let's go. So, she's the kidney donor? Um, I will go inside the world. Oh, oh. Okay, Mama. Yes, she is. She's the kidney donor. You can even take her two kidney, so you will give me 20 million. I don't care. Taking her two kidney means she's going to die. Hope you know that. Yes, I do. She's useless anyway. She's just a body. But she's your daughter. Your biological daughter. I don't care if she eats. In fact, take her heart, her lungs, anything. Take her liver, anything you want, her intestine. I just need money. <laughs> Um, some test has been carried out on her. One of her kidneys is bad. Taking the other one might kill her because she's just surviving on that one kidney. Okay, just take that one kidney. Let me send Aza so you will transfer my money. Please, excuse me. Wow, madam, are you being serious? Yes, so oh, doctor. Um, do you guys need any other donor like heart donor, liver donor, intestine donor? My daughter can donate. Madam, this is so unbelievable. And does she even know about all this? Because she was so skeptical. She doesn't have to know now. If she knows, she wouldn't have followed me here. I just need my money, so I will go. Madam, you are under arrest. DPO. You are here already. Please, arrest this wicked woman. She wants to sell her daughter internal vital organs for money. Madam, people are praying to have a child. Here you are. You want your child dead just for money. Officer, arrest her. <laughs> no, please, oh, please. You can't arrest me now. What did I do? I can't go to jail, please. I didn't do anything now. Madam, you are under arrest. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Now move. She's so heartless. Jeez. Well, there is good news. I just got a call now and the nurse informed me that there is a good compatible kidney donor. His two kidneys are very much okay, so he just have to donate one without causing any death. Your son will be okay. Ah, thank God. I'm so happy. Thank you very much, doctor. Um, so what about the little girl now? How will we? We'll help her, don't worry. We won't let her go like that. I'm so happy. Yes, doctor. <laughs>